Hey, what is up guys? Epi Pokemon TCG here. And today guys, I'm going to be showing you some more stuff from X and Y8. More so Gengar than anything, but there was a cool Miss Magius, or however you say this Pokemon's name, that was leaked in X and Y8 that has a pretty cool ability, so I figured I'd go ahead and show it to you. It has the ability called Twisted Spell. Once during your turn before you attack, when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may use this ability. Your opponent shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and draws cards equal to the number of his or her remaining prize cards. So that's pretty cool. That's a really cool ability for late game. You know, if your opponent has one or two prize cards, you evolve. You know, they got a shuffle, and now they're at a low hand size. It has a pretty decent attack too. Deep curse, 60 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. So not only are you making them go down to a low hand size, but at the same time, you know, you're probably getting out of maybe an attack for the next turn whenever your opponent goes. Uh, so that's a pretty cool little card. I figured I'd go ahead and show it to you. I like it. It's pretty decent. Uh, but the main card I am going to show you here is Gengar from X and Y8. As you guys know, Gengar is one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, pretty much just because of the TCG. Because I did play the Phoenix Book Gengar. And uh, yeah, it was... It was uh, honestly, I made a video called the be like my best deck ever. And that's the deck that I featured. Uh, that sucker took me to top 64 at Nationals. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there was some controversy on my loss. But you know, I took the loss like a man because that's what I do. But anyway, so it has an uh, has an attack called Ominous Fog. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. Place one damage counter on each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay. Then the second attack, this is the one you really want to look at, Creep Show. If your opponent's active Pokemon has at least three damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. Now, if you take a look at uh, Ghastly, has been translated here by the awesome water Pokemon master who runs Pokey Beach. He's a great guy. Let me just add that. And I do have a Twitter. Um, I don't really get on it, but yeah, I guess I'll leave my Twitter in the description if you want to follow me. <laughs> uh, new Gassy from XY8. And flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned. So they're asleep, which means you're going to be trying to gather some you know, damage counters on it. And then I went over Haunter in uh, I think the previous video. And I'm just going to go over it again. Yeah, it, these Pokemon more so focus on damage counters too, by the way, more than anything. It says, once during your turn for your attack, when you place a card to hand, from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, excuse me, you may use this ability, both active Pokemon are now confused, and then your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned during the next turn to think Pokemon can't retreat. So pretty much these Pokemon are, are leading up to having damage counters, so by the time you do evolve into Gengar, they're going to have some damage on them in some way or sort. Uh, also, you can use... Dimension Valley to, or Dimensional Valley, excuse me, uh, to just take off this colorless cost. So it's just going to be one psychic energy. And if you did put, you know, three damage counters on it, then, you know, holy crap. So you can just knock stuff out. Uh, the only problem with this I see that is, you know, is a stage two. Excuse me, I have to get a drink. <clears throat> is that it's a stage two. And, you know, like, how are you going to get the three damage counters on it quickly? Uh, you know, I've. You know, I, I've, I've already ran some thoughts through my head, like, uh, you know, cr like bats or something like that, but unfortunately bats just really is, um, I, I think trying to, trying to gun for two stage twos would just be really slow and inconsistent. Um, I don't know, like, there, there will probably be some cool stuff to add with this deck. Um, if Verbank Laser was out, that'd be a little better. Um, you know, of course that's the in between turns, but you guys get what I mean. I don't know, it's just, if there was something that you could just, ah, oh man. See, now now I'm really curious, I'm thinking about this, you know, what, what could really make this deck better? You know, um, I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, one of the things that I thought of was pairing it with Wobbuffet, and, uh, like, Wobbuffet and maybe, like, a Muscle Bands or something like that, uh, just so that you can shut down your opponent's um, abilities and such while you're setting up your Gengars. And you know you at least have 40 damage, and you know both Gengar and Wobbuffet with Dimensional Valley only take one energy. So I don't know. I, I've had some thoughts and stuff so far with this uh, because I, I am gonna indeed try this when the card does come out because of course Gengar is one of my favorite Pokemon. And this just seems like a really fun deck to mess around with. Uh, but I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to think or have to say about it or think about it too, actually. Um, so you know, let me know. And like I said, I'll link my Twitter in the description below if you guys want to follow me. And I do have a Facebook page, so definitely go check that out too. Uh, but here is the Gengar from X and Y8. I say thank you guys so much for watching. And if you missed any of my other X and Y8 or Break Evolution, any of that kind of stuff, 
uh, from previous videos I do have the playlist that has all of them in there and I'll probably annotate a couple things onto the screen so you guys take care stay classy and this is Pokemon TCG signing out take care guys